celebrating a wedding with the Debki, a traditional dance performed throughout the region. This Palestinian version dates back hundreds of years. It's one of several customs being practiced at a Palestinian wedding in Dibie, Lebanon. The attire, food, and music are also traditional. While many young Palestinian couples opt for modern weddings, having a traditional wedding honors their ancestors and keeps the Palestinian heritage alive, says 68-year-old Shafika Shalan, originally from Akka, now the city of Akra in Israel. This wedding is really important because it reminds us of our culture and our heritage, so we will not forget it. And at the same time, we can deliver it to the new generation. Life for the Palestinians in Lebanon is hard. Most reside in one of the country's 12 refugee camps, where conditions are cramped, unsanitary, and unsafe. Because of their status in the country, many cannot find work and lack access to higher education and health care. Many elderly Palestinians realize they will likely die refugees. For them, weddings are an especially joyous occasion. 67-year-old Asriya Al-Ali recites some of the traditional practices. The Palestinian wedding should keep going for seven days before the wedding. And on the wedding night, they apply henna. The bride on two hands with henna, the groom on one hand. The day of the wedding, they bring elderly women to sing. And they sing while the bride's parents' family makes the food. And they bring a barber to cut the groom's hair. While this ceremony did not observe all the customs, many, such as the oud playing, were authentic. Reviving traditional weddings is an initiative of the Social Support Society, which sponsored the wedding. The organization selects engaged couples who cannot afford to pay for a wedding. Society head Melek Nimmer says they want the elderly to feel needed. We tell them you're the only ones who know how weddings used to be in Palestine. And you tell us what to do and what not to do and how to do. So they become uh, vicious event planners for a couple of weeks. They order everyone around and, you know, they feel very important. The uulation or zelachit can indicate the arrival of the bride or represent an expression of joy. While many older Palestinians in Lebanon see the ceremonies as a way to preserve their culture, for some, it also offers a chance to forget about their suffering. Paige Collick for VOA News in Dibie, Lebanon.